Are your money rules hindering you or helping you? Are they putting up barricades in your life or opening the door to financial freedom in your financial journey? Now, what do I mean by money rules? Well, we have these set categories. We think money, what you're supposed to do with your money, right? We have the good things that you're supposed to do with your money, like savings and emergency fund and investing and budgeting and all those things that are the good things that you're supposed to do with your money. And the bad things are things like buying shoes that are over a hundred dollars or maybe going to get a massage or buying a massage membership. Ooh, you know, those are the bad things. A uh, big one that comes up for bad things is eating out. I often you will hear from prospects that come through the door. Don't look at my credit card bill and how much I eat out. It's just horrible how much we eat out. And let me tell you, you're not alone. Most people eat out way too much and it's okay. So what do we do with this? Well, does that mean that the good things are not good things? No. Does that mean that doing too much of the bad rules is good? No. It's about finding that balance, right? It's about controlling your money, enjoying your life, but also thinking ahead of the future. We have this need to take care of short-term wants and, and needs, right? We think of things in terms of short-term. Oh, this will bring me joy now. Oh, I might not live a long time, so therefore I've got to enjoy my money now, right? We think about the now a lot more than we think about the future. And how do we balance that? We need to find that balance for ourselves. So maybe we do some of the good things and we balance it out with some of the bad things. So let's take one of the good things like budgeting, right? Everybody hates budgeting. If I ever ask to look at somebody's credit card statement, they basically will do everything in their power not to send it to me to take a look at. And I get it. They don't want anybody telling them, don't spend money on that. You're spending too much money on this. And I never do that because I don't want somebody telling me how to spend my money. So I don't expect other people to want other want me to tell them how to spend their money, right? And so when I'm taking a look at your credit card statement, I'm taking a look at a couple of things. I'm taking a look at spending patterns, what is important to you. Um, you can see values through your spending, you know, things like that. And I can also see some discrepancies, right? I can kind of see you're saving over here, but then we're doing this thing over here that you've kind of told me you don't really want to do. Like I had a, a prospect that came in and she said that really what she enjoyed in life was nature. She wanted to go out and be part of nature and have financial freedom so she could do that, right? That she could go hiking and do all this stuff. And yet I was seeing a lot of credit card charges for happy hours. And I said to her, you know, it's not up to me. If you want to keep going to happy hour, that's fine. But I don't see a lot of charges for some outdoor activities. I don't see stuff, you know, coming coming in there from REI or from hiking or from anything like that. I don't see a lot of outdoor activities. And she said, well, I don't do a lot of them because my friends want to go out to happy hour all the time. And I said, well, why don't we shift that? And you can still go to happy hour sometimes, but let's shift your money spending to the things you actually really enjoy like hiking and taking care of yourself and that kind of stuff. And by making that shift, she was actually able to control her money. And she found out that her girlfriends thought she was the one that wanted to go out to happy hour. And they all ended up saving a lot of money by going out for walks instead of going to happy hour. And they lost a little weight because the alcohol, you know, makes us gain a little weight, especially those Cosmos, right? Filled with sugar. So find that balance so that you're enjoying your life but you're truly enjoying your life and that you're not spending money for other people. This is not a show. This is not keeping up with the Joneses. This is about finding inner joy, finding fulfillment in your life. And your money can do that as long as you create that right balance and it can keep doing it. If you have enough in the good, good rules, as well as some in the bad, because the bad isn't really bad. It's about how do you take that balance and enjoy your life now while thinking ahead in the future and not just thinking about our immediate needs. It's that long and short, right? We need to have some short-term goals to enjoy, to have some motivation to keep going. But we need to have those long-term so that we're not sitting there at 75 going, I ran out of money, or I didn't save enough, or I don't get to spend money the way I want to. Money is about how do we control and how do we find fulfillment and joy in our life. 
by having control of our own money. So if we could help you in any way, we have a get to know you call. You just schedule time. We go through your money story. We go through some patterns and values and see how we can help you. And if we can, wonderful. And if we can't, it's okay. You probably walk around, walk away with some resources and maybe a couple action items you can do on your own. And that's what we're here to do is help you in your financial journey. One Vision Retirement, your retirement in 2020 vision.